Hi, welcome to another look at what's new in Visual Studio Team Services. I'm Alex Nichols from the VSTS team. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the features that uh, we're rolling out in April of 2018 for Sprint 133 update. So let's jump in and take a look. So I'm in the release notes here. And you'll notice we've, we've called out uh, some of the new languages and platforms that we support for, for release. Uh, I'm going to jump down here to this feature list that we've added, uh, which really breaks down each of the new features into the different areas of the product. So in the code space, we've got uh, some new phrases and some special character support um, with help you with search. In work, you know, yet another macro that we've got here with your queries. So this allows you to, to query across teams with this team areas at macro. And then in build and release, we've got, got um, triggering CI, different branches uh, in YAML support. So I'll, I'll talk about that a bit more. And then some different languages and platforms like I mentioned. Over in package, uh, package management, we've got some new, new features for notifications and um, some better support for, for NuGet. Wiki, we bring in some page suggestions uh, and some better searching, so that, that's, that's cool to check out. And then even in administration, we've got some, uh, a, a way to move your account between subscriptions, so that'll be welcome welcome change there. Okay, so first about YAML. Uh, you, we've had YAML for a little while. It's been in preview. Uh, we've added here the ability to specify your triggers. So before this was this was inside um, the UI, you had to go change change your triggers here. But this allows you to even more so continue to retain your uh, maintain your uh, your build definition right alongside your code because because it is. So I've got I've got a, a YAML build uh, definition here with the releases branch branches um, specified to trigger. And then I've got a couple commits uh, staged up here. So here's one into master. So this is a change into the master branch. I'm going to commit that. And then I've got one over here in the releases uh, slash one branch. So I'm going to go ahead and commit that. And those are both committed. And now we should see in a moment here on the uh, build summary, we should see a build queue up. Uh, not for the master's branch change, but for that, um, that change in the releases branch, so we do. So let's go ahead and off, off and running. And also in, in build and release, I uh, want to talk about uh, some of the new language support that we've added. We've got the, the Ruby on Rails support, and, and you'll find a template out there. So I just wanted to you know, bring this up and see all of these templates that are available. You know, whatever, whatever type, type you have, type of app, you, know, you can search for, for Ruby. There it is. But just go ahead and check out these templates and, and see if anything could, could help you there to, to get, get, get started. If you want to dig into any of the details, go ahead and check out the release notes or uh, the associated documentation. And remember that VSTS is, is one way that you can uh, jumpstart your, your journey on DevOps. And it's also where you can uh, plan better, code together, and, and ship faster. So I want to thank you for watching and uh, encourage you to go ahead and subscribe for more videos.